Good day, viewers. Walter here. Thought I'd tinker around with my computer here a little bit today. Uh, I'm having fun playing with my mouse settings, and I thought I'd share a little bit of about it with you. Most of your people out there are pretty well up on how to work a computer, but uh, I'll show you what I was messing with here. Maybe some of you might have an idea or two by listening to me. So let me go to my desktop. Uh, different versions of Windows might be a little different one way or the other, but here's what I'm using today. I'm going to go down here. First of all, let me show you. Uh, see, in Gmail, I use a dark setting. You can use light or dark. But what I've done is change my cursor color. You think about it. How many times have you spent, if your cursor is white and your screen is white, and you look all over the page trying to find that little error? Well, you can adjust the size of that little error, which I've done. And I made it yellow, which would show up good on a white background or a dark background. And I'll show you how I did it in case you're interested. Down here in the little search box, just type in mouse. Put my glasses on. Can you read without them? All right, let's go to mouse settings. This window will pop up. Where well, you can change your cursor speed. I had mine set a little too fast, and when I double click, sometimes it wouldn't work right. You can adjust the double click speed to. Uh, a little bit slower and you unless you're really coordinated it'll work better for you now let's go right down here see where my hand get big hand adjust the mouse and cursor size see I, I clicked right here and made it yellow it was white there was a highlight in here but when I clicked this little color square here I can make it yellow you can make yours pink or blue or red or whatever it shows up better um, mouse pointer. Additional mouse settings. Choose how many lines you can scroll. Adjust the mouse and cursor size. If you click that, you see this little slide bar up here? You can make your cursor as big as you want or small as you want. Now mine was way down here which is way too small for my big old half blind eyes. Move it up to about number three or four and it gives you a nice pretty big arrow that you can point on your desktop at the various icons and you don't spend ten minutes looking through something that's the same color trying to find it. I know I've spent five minutes sometimes trying to find this stupid little cursor when it's on a white background and it's a white cursor. Think about that over a period of time, how much time you wasted looking for that dumb little cursor. Anyway, look at that big bright yellow cursor. I can go to any of my icons. Let's go to YouTube. Now on my YouTube, which is a dark background, you, most people have a white background on YouTube, but I have YouTube settings set for dark. I like that better. But look at that big bright yellow arrow. I can point right at somebody's video, and if it was, say, a black cursor, you wouldn't even be able to find it. But yellow shows up on black or white background. That's why I chose that color. I just like the idea of having a bigger bigger cursor and a brighter color. Anyway, that's my little video, how-to video for today. Let's see if we can go get this video edited. Y'all take care. This is Pete Walpar. Say, we'll catch you later. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, Ron had another kidney stone. 
and we, I think I've already saw this one. This was a week or two ago. Anyway, Ron, I hope you got over your kidney stones. I ain't never had one, don't ever want one. I'm working right now. There's people all parts in. Y'all take care.